So a while back, I did a video on a Motovox bike with a 250cc dirt bike engine. So I did quite a bit to this bike. I added a custom gas tank off of a bicycle. Looks like it fits pretty well on that frame. Then I added a battery box and then a pretty much custom intake. It's actually two intakes off of a pit bike to make the carb come out in pretty much the same spot as a mini bike with a Predator 212. So we're running a PWK 28 millimeter. Then I added the ignition switch and then a 60 amp starter button. Got the ultimate street tire on the back and then your street tire on the front. You got the hydraulic brake, the kill switch, and the clutch here on the left. Then I made up a custom exhaust. This is an Amazon exhaust. And I cut it and then flipped it over and then ran the pipe through the frame. I mean, so it's not the most free flowing exhaust, but it works pretty well. Then I welded up a chain tensioner. So the bike didn't come with the cover for the chain. So I fabbed one up and this cover here doesn't actually go with this engine, but it actually turned out pretty well. I made up a mount for it and then bolted it to the uh, tensioner. So if you haven't seen the build video on this bike, go check it out. So the bike turned out pretty nice. The only thing was the gearing that it has on it now, the bike will climb a wall. I mean, first and second are pretty much useless. You can start out in fourth. It has a 13 on the engine and a 40 on the rear sprocket. So you figure for every tooth that you add on the front sprocket, it's equivalent to subtracting, I think three or four off the rear sprocket. So right now it has a 13. So I'm gonna add this 17 and that's equivalent to subtracting 12 to 16 teeth off the rear sprocket. So that'll either make it a 28 or a 24. So that definitely should help it out. So I'm gonna swap that front sprocket out, a 13 for the 17, and then I'll take the bike out and we'll see if first and second gear are actually usable. Pop this chain off of here. And hopefully my cover still fits on here with a bigger sprocket. And we'll find out. And I know I'm gonna to have to add some chain. Yes, yeah, one thing about it, super easy to swap out the gear on this. Cause I really can't go much smaller on the back. I mean, I cut a little bit, but not too much. So you got the 13 versus the 17. That's quite a difference. Let me loosen up my tensioner all the way here. I think I'm still gonna have to add a couple links of chain. So I think two links ought to do it. See here. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So I think this will fit on there. Hopefully, but we'll find out. It'll clear that sprocket. Oh yeah, yeah, that might work. My homemade cover kind of hits. You can hear it rub. Oh yeah, that did it. That'll work. Bolt that down. All right, so that should work. So I got everything on there and everything clears the chain cover, but this gear still might not be enough because if you look at the back tire, it is super short compared to like a motorcycle tire or a dirt bike tire. So even with the 17 on the front and a 40 on the back, that 40 is still big for this tire compared to like a dirt bike that this engine would come on. I mean, the gear set inside this engine is super low. So we'll go out and try this gear set. And if it's not high enough, then I'll break out the secret weapon. Oh man, you can tell it's still too low.
a lot better, but it's still too low. First is still way unusable. I mean, it is still way too low. There's second. definitely a lot better. So definitely a lot better with the 17. Definitely got a lot more top speed out of it. But first gear is still useless. So it's definitely still too low. So I have this 28 sprocket and it's already drilled out for the hub that's on the bike. So I'm gonna throw that on there and that'll drop it another 12 tooth on the sprocket. So I think that'll make quite a difference. We'll be going from a 40 to a 28 on the rear. And then we went from a 13 to a 17 on the front. So that should make a big difference. So I'll go ahead and swap this out and pop this chain back off of here. Yeah, I think a 28 will definitely help it out. So you got the 40 and then the 28. So that's a lot smaller. So we got the 28 on there and that thing looks tiny compared to the other one. So that's definitely gonna make a difference. So let me shorten up that chain real quick. Might end up having to use a bigger tensioner wheel on here if I can't get this chain to tension up because it might be just a little bit too loose. We'll see. So this thing ought to have a pretty decent top speed now. And it'd be nice if I could use first gear. Yeah, so the chain's kind of loose. I might have to throw a bigger wheel on here. Let's feel tighten up. So we got it on there and it turned out pretty good. We got the chain tensioner right in the middle. So I got plenty of adjustment. So now let's go see what this thing will do. Hopefully it has a better top speed and hopefully I can use first gear. So much better. There we go. Now first gear is usable. It's a lot better. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. to get some top speed out of this thing. So first gear feels a lot better now. So there's first.
good top speed now. the right gear ratio I mean you can go maybe a little bit higher for a little bit more top speed but it's got plenty of torque through all the gears plenty of pull pretty much good enough like it is I mean, even in fourth, it's got a lot of pull to it. So the carb seems tuned pretty close. I had to put a 100 main jet in this thing because I pulled the plug and the plug was still dark with a 115 in it and then I did a 110 and it was still dark. I mean you got the power valve on the PWK for the top end. a lot better first gear is actually usable and then the gears are a lot longer all the way first through fourth so it's definitely a lot better and it has a lot better top speed i mean pretty close to 60 miles an hour so they have an 18 tooth motor gear that i can throw on there and gain a little bit more top speed but i think i'll probably just leave it 